Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here. Welcome back to my Monday's video. And today we're going to talk about what is Amazon FBA? Can you actually make money on it? And how do you start? So three most important things that a lot of you guys wonder and I've been getting this, these questions. So um, why don't I start there? Why don't I know that a lot of you guys, uh, some of you guys know this, but a lot of you guys may not. Amazon, basically, what is Amazon? Amazon FBA is basically stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. So what Amazon does is it allows you to buy wholesale products, bring it into their warehouse, and then from there you can actually sell your product online and then they will pick, pack, and ship it for you. So this way you don't have overhead charges, this way you don't touch actually you don't actually touch the product. So you actually can focus on the business itself on the e-commerce side of it. So that's the beauty of it because you don't have to start with a warehouse, you don't have to start with a physical address or anything like that. Of course, you need those things to uh, register your business, but it could be your house or whatever, right? So there is a fee for that and it's usually about 30% of your price that goes into Amazon FBA fees. But nonetheless, it's so worth it because it really cleans up the job for you. So that's what Amazon is and that's what Amazon does. Now, can you actually make money on it? And now. Um, a lot of people say, oh, I want to make six figures, seven figures, eight figures even. I see a lot of people making that. Yes, of course. And you should actually check on the uh, past of those guys and how long they've been actually in business. So um, to tell you the truth, if you want to make six figures, is it going to happen overnight? No, it's not going to happen overnight. You have to really build it like a business. You have to nurture it like a child. That's what it is. It's your baby, right? So are you going to make actually within a year or two? Yes, you will make it. You will make six figures. Now, seven figures. I don't know too many seven figure salas. I know a couple, but I don't know too many of them. They're, they're not dime a dozen. Uh, but six figure salaries, people do have replaced their income. Yes, absolutely. Now, wouldn't you want a thousand dollars extra a month, 1500, 2000? Like, wouldn't that help you? I know it would help me, right? It's, it's actually a lot of money that can actually make a difference in your life. So that's what Amazon, Amazon does. It's, it allows you to actually make that money and uh, replace your income because that's what you want to start with. You always want to start with replacing your income and then you build it from there one step at a time. How do we start? So I'm going to go through specific steps uh, to how to get your Amazon and FBA business started. Some of these I've already talked about in my previous video, so I'm going to reference those as well. But let's get started. So before before we get started, I want to tell you guys why I love Amazon FBA so much. It's because it allows you the opportunity, anybody, to actually learn how to build a business from ground up, how to contact suppliers, how to professionally talk to different suppliers and uh, create listings and actually uh, do the work of what a company would do in order to build their business. That's why it creates entrepreneurs. And whether Amazon FBA is your end goal uh, and you want to make a lot of money on it or your end goal is to actually build a new business, a physical tangible business with a location, it really helps you to get that process started. So that's why I love it. And the other reason I love it is because e-commerce is growing. It's a worldwide phenomenon. I mean, a lot of people know that 80% of Christmas shopping is done online so think about that 20 percent is only retail the rest is online so why not create a business that actually can capture that 80 percent of the market instead of 20 percent which is the retail side right so that's why i love amazon fba so much because it allows you that opportunity that entrepreneurial spirit uh, and it's going to expand i mean the world is moving towards um, uh, an era where there would be no retail stores eventually and uh, the technology will take over so that's why it's really good time to get into this to actually start building your pro uh, uh, business and really take advantage of this before the future kicks in. So that's why I love Amazon FBA and I know you guys are going to love it too for some of the same reasons and I, there are tons of other reasons that uh, Amazon FBA is the best and uh, of course like Amazon being a company that is so worldly known uh, you don't have to worry about uh, it not having a presence. So. Everybody ships, uh, shops on Amazon. A lot of people, I know there's some crazy percentage of e-commerce, I read over 75 that uh, shop on Amazon. And why not create a business on Amazon if they're shopping already there? I know there are other uh, different platforms that you can sell on as well, but Amazon is the world's best known platform. So that's why it's great and that's why you will make money on it. So 
let's get started how do you start guys the first step of Amazon FBA to actually do product research you got to know what you want to sell you got to have now one of the things I always tell people is to avoid passion products what does that mean uh, it means that if you're really passionate about a product you're not gonna think about it logically you're gonna be biased to it and you're gonna start throwing money on it that uh, you wouldn't normally on a regular product so sell a need not a want so always make sure it's a need find out the product if it's not and find out the product that you think could be improved on and usually those things are so much better because you can create a new product without having to reinvent the wheel so product research is key and I've shown you guys in my second video right after my intro I've shown you guys that we can do this through Jungle Scout so finding the keywords that are searched over a monthly basis with the highest search volume and then using those keywords on Amazon and running Jungle Scout against it to figure out what the profitabilities look like so those are the two tools that I've shown you guys so if you uh, missed that video I'm gonna post the link in the description so take a look at that make sure because that will really explain the step that I'm talking about in a greater detail okay the second step guys is uh, finding a supplier now if you guys know Alibaba it's one of the world's best known e-commerce sites where you can find uh, wholesale products at uh, different prices and uh, all over the world actually most of the manufacturers now are located in China and because of the labor costs and everything your manufacturing costs are going to be a lot lower if you find your product in China as opposed to UK or US or anywhere else so keep that in mind when you're running your business now I understand uh, that uh, a lot of these products that are coming from China have a uh, what do you call a stereotype that the quality is really bad right now uh, some of these are but there are so many great suppliers in China now Think about the world and how much of the world's products are made in China. I know that in Canada, 80% of the imports come from China. And that's because of my background in logistics and I know that stats. So what does that tell me? Like, are all products shit? I'm part of my French. No, it's actually specific products. So you got to find the right supplier. On Anil Baba, you can actually make sure there are different tags for you to find quality suppliers so you can get quality products yeah you will pay a little bit extra but it is definitely worth it quality is one thing you never want to compromise on Amazon because once uh, the buyers get a whiff of it and they know that your, uh, your products are actually not quality and you start getting negative reviews it's really gonna hurt your business so finding quality suppliers on uh, Alibaba is key and that's actually my third video that I've done and I'm gonna post the link below and I will as I walk you guys through Alibaba how to find that supplier and how to uh, use different tools to actually figure out what the prices would be and um, uh, what kind of suppliers and actually how to contact the supplier uh, which is also a key component of finding quality suppliers because if they can trust you then they will start contacting you and then you'll start to feel that okay how these guys ship their products they will send you a sample a lot of quality suppliers will send you free sample because they believe in their product and they know they can close that business with you so um, look for those kinds of suppliers on Alibaba okay the third step for of this is to actually create a listing now uh, on Amazon and uh, it's a lot like creating an eBay listing uh, but there are some key components to create a listing title is absolutely important you want to make sure that it is a title that matches the product and it's the absolute like um, best description of the product that you can do the description is very important you want to make sure all the details are there and the copyright of your listing is important and if you have a few dollars I would actually highly suggest you invest in a copywriter um, if you haven't done this kind of stuff in your own business or in your own job before uh, just because it's so important to capture uh, a buyer's attention in the first shot you really get one shot at this so if they go to your list and they don't like something they will go off it and that's why pictures are actually very important as well because uh, that's the first impression they get if you have low resolution pictures and even though your product is great right chances are they'll move away from it and I know I move away from things if I'm buying something online and if I don't see that the seller has actually invested time and effort in, in order to present this product to me that tells me that maybe they don't believe in quality right so 
very important your listing make sure you get a copywriter make sure your pictures are really high resolution and the listing looks really good so the next step for you guys is to rank your product now that you've started you're probably on page 10 20 15 what have you how to get to page one and compete with the competitors that you've been looking at right so one of the organic ways to do this is to make sales so if you have a compelling listing your pictures are great you start to generate sales what's going to happen is basically you're going to start moving up in the rankings and on pages so you will be ending you'll end up on page seven six five four and then eventually on page one the other way that you can do this is actually through ppc campaigns now amazon provides this advertising platform which is called pay-per-click ppc and you can advertise with them and you basically pay them by every click that happens on your listing so they push out your content so that more views are made uh, or more uh, people view your product and actually click on it because that's how they will make money advertising money from you. So that will push for more sales. And as soon as you start getting reviews, Amazon's algorithm is going to start reading that, okay, this product is legit. Um, there is interest in this product. It's selling. So let me push this up and let me make this as a recommended product. So that's what's going to happen and your goal is to basically get it to an area that you can actually uh, be visible because a lot of people they probably will go to page three four no more than that and uh, that's just the nature of people like they don't trust listings that are below that they're like for some reason there's an assumption that great products only exist on the first few pages and that's why they're on the first few pages so we have to think about uh, the buyer psychology and how it works and we have to be uh, align ourselves and our product within that psychology so get your product ranking is very important get your product ranked as high as possible or in that case uh, to rank number one and make sure that when you're product researching that you're in an area that the competition is not stiff you want to be in an area where there's growth and that's how I showed you guys met by video number two and you can check that on merchant words again uh, if the competition is stiff for that specific keywords or product and that gives you an indication now the last thing that a lot of people don't talk about is inventory now that your product is doing well it's selling good units and you're running out and you're excited you're caught up in the heat of the moment what do you do and what happens is a lot of people it happened to me actually uh, my inventory ran out I was a week delayed my listing dropped so all that work for nothing really I closed my listing and that was it I had to restart all over again so you don't want that to happen to you you want to make sure you plan ahead of time as a new seller sometimes we don't think about that but that's a very reality of this business is that a mistake like that could really cost you your listing and you have to start doing everything the advertising dollars that you spend on PPC um, the hard work that you did to make sure you get the right copy the copywriter the pictures uh, professionally done pictures and all that stuff and I recommend all that stuff that's all gonna go to waste if you don't make sure you restock your inventory so you want to plan ahead you want to know the cutoff times you want to know uh, how long it takes your product to come from the manufacturer uh, in China or wherever have you uh, to Canada US wherever you're selling uh, Europe uh, what have you so make sure you account for those things make sure you take those things very seriously and because last thing I'm telling you guys there's nothing more frustrating than like, having a great product selling at a very fast rate and then all of a sudden uh, you're running out of inventory and for a few days yes you can hold it off and I'll show you guys in, uh, in a future video on how to hold your product or your listing um, if you're on page one uh, how to hold it for a few days but then it's not gonna stay for that long it's gonna consistently start to drop Amazon is gonna see okay this product is not making any sales so maybe people are not interested so I'm gonna start keep dropping it you don't want that to happen to you very important again guys I cannot stress this enough so that's it uh, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see uh, as you guys know I'm taking this channel based on the recommendations or based on um, the problems you're having or the things you want to see so this was one of them which basically was how can I make money on Amazon um, and what the steps are that I need to watch for so I know that I should have done this video in the, as my second video after the introduction but I started with product research and supplier and now this one so I just wanted to backtrack a little bit quickly to make sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about 
And from here onwards, let me know. Let me know your struggles, and I'm going to do videos based on that. And uh, the next one that uh, actually social media, uh, a few people have been asking me about is how do I find my uh, products. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to share how I found one of my products the steps that I took to find my one of my winning products which was doing decent revenue actually it was doing ten thousand dollars a month so that video is gonna be up on Wednesday hope you guys enjoy it as always leave your comments in this video or any other video check the links in the description uh, for the videos that I talked about in this in this video which is important so and let me know comment and I'll check and I'll respond to you guys as soon as possible Thanks again. Thank you for viewership. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.